So looking at the concept of uh, pleural biopsy, concept of pleural biopsy. So um, whenever I hear anything biopsy, biopsy is like, okay, you see the name biopsy, okay? So biopsy is more of like, you are trying to take tissues from an organ to go and perform a test. Probably there's a strange disease condition, or you know the disease condition, but you just want to confirm with a histology test. They need to do a biopsy. Previously, we spoke about myocardiac biopsy. I would say that this one is like, you're trying to take some tissues of the heart and all this stuff, right? So you could also do a biopsy of the, of the lungs, all right? So probably there's a disease in the lung and you want to actually confirm or you, or you know the disease, but you just want to have an evidence that, okay, you actually did a test in case of any law case, right? You do a biopsy for that. So we'll talk about these biopsies. We'll talk about when to do a biopsy. We'll talk about what types of biopsies that could be done. Talk about the procedure for biopsy, then possible complications from that biopsy, then diagnostic yield, the results, interpretations. You can see you just have to do it what well, needle, 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 right? So you have to actually put a needle to get some part of the lungs and all that. Send it for histology. So I said what well, a plural biopsy is a diagnostic procedure. Because you are doing this just to confirm a diagnosis, right? It's a diagnostic procedure where a sample of a tissue is taken from the plural. All right. And the plural is a thin membrane surrounding the lungs, right? To examine for what abnormalities, right? Sorry, so plural biopsy is not directly the lungs, but just the plural. Okay. Um, indications, but of course, if you take it, biopsy from the plural, you can still use it to diagnose problems of the lungs, right? So that's why I always say lung biopsy and all that. Indications when to do a plural biopsy. It's when you're having an unexplained plural effusion. There's fluid buildup in the lungs, and you can't really explain the cause. So you do a biopsy. If you suspect that there will be a lung cancer or there's, there will be a metastasis, you want to know the stage of the cancer to know probably when the cancer will now start spreading to the rest of the body and all that, right? So you do a biopsy. Inflammatory or infectious diseases like tuberculosis, pneumonia, do a biopsy to confirm. Interstitial lung disease or sarcoidosis, either one of these to do a biopsy. Then types of biopsy, right? So you can see the one that we have here is mostly what's happening. The one that we have here is needle, 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 needle. All right. So one of the most popular one is what needle biopsy, also known as a percutaneous biopsy. This one you're using a needle just to collect the tissues. Then open biopsy, which is surgical, making an incision to access the pleural. Then thoracoscopic biopsy. This one you're using thoracoscopy. Uh, you are doing using thoracoscopes. All right. The image guided biopsy, this one using CT scan to guide you to the biopsy site. Then for the procedure now, how to do a biopsy, how to do a pleural biopsy. Preparation. You position the patient well, you give them anesthesia, then you monitor them. Giving them anesthesia in the term, in the sense that you are you, you are you are penetrating them, all right? So it's actually a painful procedure. So you give them anesthesia to prevent the pain and all that. Then next, you do your tissue collection where you actually what sample the, the pleural tissue. Then next, after you're done, you now close the stitches or staples, right? That's if you did an open biopsy, right? Then complications. As in the process of doing a biopsy, okay, there could be a hole, air could go in and accumulate in the chest walls. That's known as what pneumothorax. There could be hemorrhage, that's bleeding. There could be infections. There could be lung injury. There could be what? Adhesions. Diagnostic yield. You are doing this for what? To get a result, right? So you are probably are doing this to just do some histological examination, cytological analysis, microbial cultures. You are trying to know if it's an infection and the microorganism that is causing that infection, right? Then you, all, you could be doing this for molecular testing, like genetic analysis and all that. Results interpretation. From plural biopsies, you can get to diagnose benign conditions, malignant conditions. 
infectious diseases, autoimmune disorders, right? All of them, you could use biopsies to diagnose them. All right. So I think this is just by the way. All right. That was by the way. All right. Plural biopsy, definition, indication, types, procedures, complication.